Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. In this video, I'm going to show you all how we're going to fire weld two pieces of steel in the fire itself. We're not going to use any, we're not going to use any hammer blows with this. We're not using any flux with this. We are just going to put it in a good, well-maintained fire in a relatively oxygen-free environment, and we are going to weld these two pieces of steel together. Get this good and hot. You guys are going to hear a little bit of clicking here. I'm going to open up the aperture a bit until it gets going, so you guys can see what we're doing here. Sorry if that clicking was loud to you, or there's a bunch of camera shake there. I didn't mean for there to be. But we're going to bring this whole pile of coal up nice and hot, and when we get real, real close, we are going to take and weld it in the fire. Now you may be asking yourself, well Roy, how are we going to do that? Because you just said that we're not going to take and use any sort of hammer blows or anything like that. And the answer is really, really super simple. We are going to use a large pair of tongs. We're going to use a pair of tongs like this. And before they're completely up to welding temp, we're going to go ahead and set the jaws of the tongs and let them heat up on the fire. So we're gonna get this good and hot. We're gonna let those warm up. And the way we're gonna make this weld is just like how we would press something together. Just the same way that you would press something together in a hydraulic press or something of the like. That's what we're gonna do on these pieces. They are going to get pressed together basically and uh, that's how they will go together. So they'll go together very well. We do, as we come up to temperature, we're going to have to watch burning these pieces, which they're gonna be very susceptible to. So we're almost there to temperature now. These pieces are in the fire. One's really hot, but the other one's not quite there yet, so I need to take and shift it a little further down in the fire. One's right up at the temperature it should be. The other one's not nearly as much. So we're going to set that up underneath the other piece that's ready to be welded. We're going to keep it covered. And again, we want the tips of these tongs to stay warm. So hopefully you all can see this just fine. It's really hard to take and get welding shots inside of the fire without getting in too close to this whole deal. Bring this whole piece back up to temp. We're just trying to watch and mitigate burning right now as I'm talking you through this process. It's kind of a bit of a boring video, but it ought to be fun once we get it welded here. So now I'm going to go ahead and move some of this top coal, this coke, out of the way just so I can start seeing the piece. And it's going to want to start burning on me ever so slightly because I've given it to, because I've exposed one of the pieces to the airflow. Okay, so that's going to be natural. What well, all we want to do is just squeeze. Squeeze the two pieces together. And as long as the surfaces were fairly clean, that should have stuck them. We're going to take it up one more heat. We're going to take it up just a little higher heat just to make sure. And we're going to squeeze it again. I think you all can see that. Let me zoom you in ever so slightly. See if it'll zoom in any further. Nope, it's at its limit. Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get this focused. I could edit this part out. We'll see where we're at. I think you can see well enough. So just under pressure, just under standard tong pressure, just squeezing down like that, we can mend those two surfaces together. 
this is really handy on very small material. Now what we've got on in here is we've got a piece of, you know, say half inch wide. It's probably more like three quarter wide, so 20 mil uh, by quarter or six mil. And then we've got a piece of three eighths or 9.5 mil or 10 mil, if you will, on top of that. Again, we'll squeeze it. Make sure that joints together. And just like that, she's welded. So we just squeeze welded that together. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Now on thick material like this, when you're welding like this, it is a possibility of breaking these two things apart. This is not a strong weld. This isn't a strong weld by no means, so it is possible to peel that one right off the other one. Uh, this is most handy for things like flower stems, doing little ornamental pieces like that in the fire that otherwise wouldn't give you enough time when you pulled it out of the fire to weld it together. So hopefully you guys can see those two planes. It's been welded. It's welded enough that you can hit on it and it's not falling apart, you know. It's still stuck together. So anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this real quick video. If you did, remember to leave a like and share it around with your friends. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. And if you'd like to support what we do here at Christ Center Ironworks and be a nice, be a channel sponsor, go check out our website over at blacksmithpdf.com and uh, see if you, you can get interested in either a power hammer plan, a digital download of a template that I've used, or a ebook to start your blacksmithing business right. So that's it for today. Again, thank you all so much for watching. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.